absolutely threw it down last night. It was a thunderstorm. So I'm hoping that helps because the ground is really wet. Um, it's stuck. There's a couple of it, a couple of long bits. Mostly short, but it's wet and damp, so uh, it shouldn't be too hard to push the coil through. I've got the 13 on as usual. Uh, I bought every coil just in case, and I'll back out on my favourite now. It's um, my first big commission, really. This was um, bronze age hauled here, loads of hammers <coughs> back behind me. I can't get on the first bit, but I've never really done the middle of the field. A good 15 acres here, maybe more, that I've never, I've never touched. Put path that in, put path that in, so I'm going to try and find the middle of it, if I can remember where it is. Uh, the path is diagonally, that one's still here, apart from the hammer to work. I think that was, that's been long forgotten. Uh, and there's a footpath that runs along the other side as well, so I found hammers over in that direction. So I'm hoping for something good in the sunshine with the mind map. Yeah, I'm quite excited this morning. This is the trashy field. This is the trashy farm. So we should be digging some ground recently. Uh, it's not raining and it shouldn't rain. Touch wood. We're gonna have some good finds today so uh, yeah, let's crack on. Second signal, let's hope it's better than the first. The first one won't make me a dip because it was rubbish. Just a bit of, it was copper, I thought it was going to be a coin or something, but uh, hopefully this is better. Wherever it is, that looks like that could be it. Not a lot better than what I just found. A bit of rolled lead. Been shaped or something. Don't know what though. To do it, change it back over. Stuff really kills my arm with a big coil, so little coil, it's very quiet actually, there's not a lot, I'm not picking up a lot. It might be to do with the ground clearance on the stubble. But there's something here. Ugh. More lead, as I've found so far, lead. Peculiar, but yeah, more lead. Please be good. The sun's out, it's not raining. It's just really quiet, but I've dug it out. It almost sounds too high, like it's gonna be junk, but it's up there in the silver area of the smart find. But then it's close to some rubbish and all. So, don't know. Not really hoping for a great deal. All coin, I think. Yeah. That's better. Sounds good, but you know. I'm not finding a great deal this morning. Everything's still a bit sticky. And I'm gonna rub it much more. I'll have a quick look now. If not, I'll have a clean up when I go back for a drink. Damn you, it's a 2p. Oh, I may as well just throw it away. Oh, so annoying. I'm near the existing footpath, so probably not really surprising. I don't know what that was, I wasn't expecting much. Looks like a bronze. Fairly deep. A weird signal, because I think it was just, I don't know why it's weird, but. All right, I'm gonna give it a bit of a better clean. It looks like these two sides have been formed into some sort of wedge. Oh, I'll try something else. Bung the big bad boy on. I think the uh, DTEC 19 is just too heavy and gets caught in this double. I put the coil tech on because I'm on I'm going through just like the top couple of inches of the stubble, not trying to push it too hard. And we've got some ink just here. Let's 
it's going to show up. I don't know if it's going to be a coin or a button. I'm hoping. Oh, it looks like an old button actually. Hmm. I think it was an old button. Still, it's filled me with a bit of confidence because it's really quiet this morning. Uh, that this bigger coil might do it. Well, within five minutes, that's two buttons and da -da. a musket ball. Had to be really, didn't it? But this coil will take, I don't know, I've tried different methods in stubble because I hate stubble. And uh, I'm trying to come up with a, a way of covering ground and actually finding things. I can put the tiny coil on, but you don't cover a lot of ground. You can put this super big coil on and it's heavy and gets caught in the stubble. But this uh, watt coil, could be the way forward. You can see it's double. That's not, not too long, but you're losing a few inches in depth. But I've got that about four inches off the floor. I'm going to make another noise. 727. Not fine. Top corner. That's normally silver. Let's have a let's try another live dig. I've done a few this morning. Most have resulted in a whole lot of nothing. I don't do them that often. For that reason, they take time and waste. They waste a fair bit of time when they go wrong. Oh. It's in here. Oh, there we go. Not silver. Big fat penny by the looks of it. Oh, finally, one that works. I'm going to say penny. Give us a 1920. So that'd be George. There he is. Just under the mud there. So I lost about three or four inches with the stubble. This wasn't too deep, so you're going to lose a bit of depth, obviously. But I'm going to persevere with this. I know this is a big coin anyway, but... Hmm. I think some of the readings could be slightly off. Because obviously you've got a big air gap, but... We'll see, we'll see. We'll carry on. Another one. I feel a plague of these coming on again. Since I've been beach detecting, I forgot these little things. I keep them all. I don't scrap them. Still a bit of history. An annoying bit of history, but still a bit of history. Right, I'm on the edge of the stubbly field. This has got something in it. Find out. Okay, with this bit. Just a bit of a, I've been finding tin can. That looks like a tiny love token. Joking, not another one, I've won the other day. Ooh, uh, hang on. Let's take my glove off. Do you know what? That's either a tiny love token or a tiny hammer. Bend, uh, did they bend hammer coins back then? Into Let me clean it with two hands and back in a minute. I am pretty certain I've just sat there cleaning this for like 10 minutes with spit and a little bit of straw. I'm pretty certain, you can see the crown at the top. I'm gonna go with Charles the first because I found one of these, it was, I think it's just a penny. I'm sure this is a silver penny. I found one of these the other end of the field and I found a big hammered Charles the first sixpence I'll put a link on the end of this video um, and that was an awesome coin I love that coin it's I should get it back at the end of the month from my flow but look in there at the detail in there that is lovely I, I mean I don't know if they did love tokens but that is definitely bent into the shape of a love token I will not be unbending that I will clean it a little more. I will take some close-up shots from my camera at home. 
uh, please go to the link at the bottom. Uh, my Facebook page, I've got all my finds on there. It's a reference for me and anyone else that wants to use it. Feel free to comment if there's anything wrong or I don't know. Brilliant, brilliant. Coil tech saves the day. All right, back in this double. Here we go. In there. Not bad depth, this double. Could just be uh, what I've been finding just now. Yep. Bit of can, I told you. Plenty of bits of can up here. Next up, a very old button, that one. The way that's fastened is uh, a bit different, I think. Still, I'm sticking where the old um, hammer coin was. The old forgotten, or what I presume is an old forgotten footpath, so let's continue. Look at that for a beast of a horse brass. That's a huge one, that one. I had a similar shape one the other day. But a lot smaller. The size of that bad boy. Look at it. That will, that will come up nice. It's, it's not been bent um, and scuffed up. That's right there. The biggest one I found. Someone got hit by that one, or something got hit by that one. It's a hefty one, that one. I wouldn't fancy that coming at me at a rate of knots. Not bad sound. It's definitely out. Just separate them into three. Yeah, it's in that lump there, I thought it was. Right. Dunno, I don't know what I'm going for. Possibly coin, copper. That's what I'm going for anyway. Oh no, that looks like I thought it was one of those eyelet things off of some leather. I hate them things. That's not, that looks like a buckle. That would love off. Looks like the end of a buckle. Ah, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, I'll check the hole, see if there's any more bits of it, but I doubt it. It's probably been here for a very long time. Cool. Coil tech is, um, I was about to stick the smallest coil on, but I don't think I'm gonna. Something noisy in this lump. Not sure. Oh, that end. Mm. Nope, thought that was it. That old coil tech, it made loads of noise in my ear then. like a buckle. Oh, we keep the spectacle buckle. I love it. I like these. They always look really cute. Brilliant stuff. No, nope, kept the tech on. I might put a small, small, small coil on right at the end, just for a quick whiz around. But for now, this is paying off loads. Coin or button, my favourite game. What's it gonna be? Ooh, ooh, coin. Thick one as well. Uh, I think I think they were farthings. If it's the George era. Oh, it's very thick. Yep, no more rubbing. I'll come back to that in a minute. I can see something there. Can you hear that? I've had mixed success with my lot today. Although, I did get the hammered. I didn't actually dig it live, but 
as good as damn it. Um, can't remember the other one. Some have worked, some haven't, as usual. But this one, I had to stamp it all down because it's up here. But I still, that's what I heard above this double. So now, stamp it down and then get nice and close. That is right down the bottom. Now that's where I've been finding tin cans, so again, this could be a 50 50. Um, not that there's too many tin cans. If I do the numbers, anyone that uses the numbers. Hmm, I don't use the numbers, so couldn't really tell you. I use smartphone. Let's go then. Oh god. Oh, this is where the tractor's driven up and down, it's packed, absolutely packed in. Oh, nearly got knocked out by my spade. Is so big. This is where pinpointing comes a bit tricky. Uh, I don't really know. I was about to say I don't really know if it's out yet. That's either going to be another button, a bit of crap. Just there. I like the look of it. I've said this before. I like the look at that. Ooh, I like, yeah. Just, you can see a ring. Hmm, could it be? We've got a beetle trying to. Oh, no. Anyway, distracted by a beetle. Um, mm hmm. Oh, I really hope that's another hammer in a day. Let me just um, gently clean it while I'm back. I, none the wiser. It's actually got a hole through it. And you can see like a shield with something on it. Um, and some bugs on it. Uh, turn it over. I haven't really got anything on me right now to clean it. I don't know, I wouldn't know which way up that goes. Cool. Super happy. It does look very old. I reckon that's older than the Charles one. But as to what, on I know some, but I don't know all. Hmm. Right, I'll have to wait till I get home. Bit of research. If anyone knows, by all means, stick it in the bottom. Uh, but I will find out at the end of the month, hopefully, with my flow meeting. Awesome. Awesome. Brilliant day so far. There it is. Didn't need to put it over the coil. Oh, I think I've just hit it with the. Hit it with a coil, hit it with a spade. Hmm. Quite a thin one. Definitely copper, because I can see why I didn't bend it, but I just, just clicked the corner there. I'm not going to get anywhere doing that. Right, one second. There we go. Right, I'm getting a headache, so I'm gonna go home. But, didn't find loads. So I started off with the 13 coil. Um, then I changed to the standard coil. And then I thought I'd experiment and chuck the big, big coil on. It's the, uh, the watt coil. Um, still very hard working to double, don't get me wrong. By all means, try it. But what I do have is some bad, I got. A few buttons, some are small. Uh, four musket balls, one beastie horse brass. I think it's that part of a door lock, I think, or catch of some sort of box chest. Uh, that's my lid. A fair bit of lid. Uh, only a little bit of rubbish, actually. Uh, so, yeah, so these bits of tin can keep coming up. Right, pain now. Um, to dig one deep deep iron signal, it was a bit of a big signal, so I dug it, and that's what I got from these troubles. Um, the cool stuff, 
1920 George Penny. Not so cool, two penny. I don't know what that is, I'm going to keep hold of that. Not sure yet. Uh, the bent coin, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to get anything off it. I really don't know with that other coin, that fat one. Don't know, nothing's coming off that. I like that little spectacle buckle. Did like that. And there's the other part of another buckle. And as for the super cool stuff, there you go. I've just cleaned it with a toothbrush. That, that writing is really clear. Still don't know what it means, but it's very clear. The other side, um, it's a little bit dirty. There's definitely something on there. I'd be able to ID that, I'm sure. And the little Charles love token. Look at that. That is so detailed in there. I really like that. And you can make out his bust now. Just about to see it in there. See the crown on his head. Brilliant, awesome. Uh, all photos will be on my Facebook page of what I can clean. Brilliant. I've GPS those two coins, so when they do play out this field, I shall be back. And I'm pretty sure is it these two were in line of where I found the Venetian silver and my other child had been hammered. They were pretty much in line with them. So I'm pretty much on the right track. Uh, on the suspected footpaths. So I'm well happy, yeah. I'm gonna go home now. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. I'm not fussed. I'll see you all again soon.